Hey guys, how you all doing? My name is Clear and welcome back to my channel Gaming with Clear. In today's video, we'll be ta talking about how you can run 120Hz on a monitor that only supports HDMI 1.4 or HDMI 2.0. All of these next gen consoles uh, supports uh, 120 hertz of frame rates. Specifically, these PS5s they only support 1920 by 1080p or 4K. Like it does not support any other resolutions. Now, if you wanna, if you're going to buy a 4K monitor, it's gonna be too expensive. So I went with the option with um, I went with this one. It's an AFC 1920 by 1080p uh, monitor. Now it only has two HDMI ports, which is 1.4 and one uh, display port. Now, um, I have heard that and I've read about it that it, it, with, if you use it with the display port, um, you can uh, run it a little bit smoother or run a little bit better uh, as compared to HDMI. But um, it, for that, you're gonna need an adapter, uh, which kind of costs you uh, like around 35 to 40 bucks. I can link that down. I'm not using that adapter, but I have seen videos about that you can use that adapter to uh, connect it with a display port. Now, let's hop into the today's video. I'm gonna move the camera closer and I'll show you guys how you can run 120 hertz using an HDMI 1.4. Um, at this point, I have already connected my HDMI from my PS5 to the monitor. Now, uh, for this, uh, first I would go to settings and I would go to, to save data and game and then go to game presets. You gotta make sure that you have it in performance mode. Uh, if you have in resolution mode or game defaults, it's gonna push you off. Make sure you keep it in this mode. Now go back to screen go back to screen and video now go to resolution now i assume that uh, if you're watching this video you're running a low-end monitor like me which has uh only which only supports hdmi 1.4 and all those monitors most likely have 1920 by 1080p so you gotta select this 1080p and make sure you're connected to that then go back and make sure your hdr is off if you have it on and it's not gonna work. This monitor has an option where I can um, count the frame rates. So at this point, if I go into the settings and go and have a look into screen and video and video output information, and over here it only shows that it's running 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now I'm connected to HDMI 1.4. Now. Let's go back into the video. Uh, let's go back in here and let me show you how you can do it. So basically my monitor has an option where I can kind of count the frame rates. So I will. All right, so you guys can see down here, it is running on 60 right now. So we're gonna uh, go to Call the Divine Guard turn the game on and now make sure now look at this it switched to 120 now my settings are already done that's why i switched to 120 and uh, it's running on 120 right now but i'll show you guys um what you need to do inside the game to make sure that you are getting these settings activated so uh, i'll just show you that in a second the game boots up go back to, go to your settings and go to graphics you'll see this this line right here 120 hertz refresh rate now just turn it on and as soon as you'll turn it on, you'll switch your screen and uh, then your screen will go black and come back and look at this right here. It says 120 over there. Now within the game, so you only need to do it once. Uh, and once you're done, um, every time you boot up your game, it'll automatically will switch to 120 and this will apply to Warzone as well. If you have installed Warzone, um, you only need to do it in Call of Duty and what, as soon as you boot up your Warzone, um it'll uh, apply the same settings to warzone as well now if you're only running warzone and don't have any call of duty um you'll have to do these settings in warzone and otherwise you're all good to go that's it for the video please drop a like and subscribe my channel uh follow all my social media all the links will be down below and have a great day